Alright, thank you very much for joining me. This is Gold Payne back again. Uh, having a couple of couple of high score challenges today. So I've just played Power Strike 2 uh, for the Master System and the second challenge or the, the one that's for this this week or whatever it is um, is a Shinobi on a Master System. So it's two Master System games. Um, so this one, I've never played this Master System version before. It is quite choppy and slow. It's got a frame rate of maybe 10. Maybe, maybe more, I don't know. But um, yeah, I played the arcade one, and I really like the arcade one. Um, although it's very, very difficult, maybe too difficult for for me. Um, give me a Japanese role playing game, and I'll 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 get the high score. <laughs> There's no scores in that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I like the bonus stage in it. Again, I can't believe the master system. Like, it looks really good. Like, there's lots of colors, and uh, the game's controlled quite well. As Quite well. I, I I don't know why I thought the Master System was some sort of Atari or, or like Atari like thing, but um, I'm very impressed with the old Master System. So maybe I'll try some more Master System games, see if there's any really good ones. Um, yeah, the only Shinobi game I, I like is um, Shadow Dancer with the dog. I think I just like it because you have a dog. Um, but yeah, this one, I don't know. I probably wouldn't play this one again. It's too choppy and slow. It's good though. Um, it seems to be more. Uh, timing than anything but it's a, it's a really good port like considering the power of the master system or m my uh, under un severe underestimation of the power of the master system but you're still saving the hostages and you're still killing the bad guys the first time I played this actually there must have been a glitch or something because one of the hostages was like stuck in midair and I couldn't get her or him whoever they are I also can't figure out how to use the ninja magic either um Oh, maybe it's up and attack. I looked online and it said it was hold the jump button. I got on way better on this in the first game as well. This one's tough. That's cool though for Master System. Like, um, yeah, the magic. I looked it up online and it said it was hold jump for a couple of seconds and press attack, but that didn't work. So I don't know if you have to get if I if I missed um, if I missed the ninja magic or something like that. But I was like using the magic in Ashnobi. Oh, is that Marilyn Monroe? Or Spider Man? <laughs> yeah, I keep forgetting which button is attack and which button is jump. These kidnappers are not very good at kidnapping people. So funny, the sound effects, they don't really seem like. It should be that sound effect for what's what it's doing, well, I don't know. It's cool that you can walk on the floor, you can't do that. There's not a lot of games you can do that. But I've already, I've already surpassed my high score. My high score was... What about I haven't yet? My high score was 45,000 I think the first time I tried it. So I've done something different here this time, I don't know what it is. I drew the crate there. Save a couple of hostages. They do give you a sword as well, but I'm not sure what. It's just when you when you're up close to the enemies, you use the sword to attack. But I'm not sure if it. I don't know if it's significantly stronger. I can't beat this boss. I don't know how to beat him. I assume it's because it looks like the boss in Shadow Dancer. I'm assuming that you just have to hit him in the face. But it doesn't. It makes like a slightly different sound effect when I hit him in the chin. As opposed to the rest of his body. And it, yeah, it makes that sound effect. So I think that's where you're supposed to hit him, but... I don't know. The things seem to be hitting me. Um, once they disappear, they hit me as well. So I don't know if there's a strategy. I should probably look up a walkthrough or something. So I don't know how many times you're supposed to hit him either. I got him a good four times here, I think. Uh I mean, you think he should be easy, he's just standing there. But yeah, I don't know if there's a pattern to those bits of fire. If they're falling, like if you jumped or if you ducked, did they go towards it? Because it seems like they just follow you wherever you go. And just, I can't see how to 
Or maybe there's something at the start I have to do, like jump or something so that they go up in the air. Oh. Yeah, that's definitely a different sound effect, so this must be doing something to him. <laughs> I'm not getting any points here either. People that know exactly how to play this, I must be looking like such an idiot. There's probably like a super easy way to do it because he's the first boss, like, so it must be like really easy. I just can't seem to do it. I didn't even need any health there. One more. Oh, that was nice. Ugh. It's too hard. This is that's too annoying, that bit. Okay, five five zero five zero. I got to the first boss. <laughs> How embarrassing. Uh thanks very much, Steve, for picking the game and I'll see you guys in the next Kaiser challenge. Thanks very much.